Now we just gotta make a uh, run through the ship. <laughs> Go poke everybody, talk to them, make sure everyone's doing okay. The Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not <laughs> wanting to die. And... <sighs> so, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Borgia? <laughs> Look at that, that's horrible. Building alliances is the only way we Joker looks a freaked out. The yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers <laughs> to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mm -hmm. mad scientists. Commander. That was different. I remember when we had Paddock Wicks. I wonder what happened to Paddock Wicks. I bet you he died. It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. Oh, yeah? You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs. That's ridiculous! There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 oh, billion Oh, my infants. gosh. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other <laughs> thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. That's true. This keeps getting better and better. <laughs> the Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces. Yeah, good luck with that. Ships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. No, this is important. If I didn't have Edie doing this, like, and look, I got reputation from that. If I hadn't come to talk to Edie, wouldn't have gotten that reputation. But it's something we didn't think about. Everything on Palavin is, um, the opposite. It's the Turian, not, not hemoglobin, um, and not antihistamine. Can't remember, but it's the Corian and Turian stuff, right? It's all made for their digestive system, and Krogans can't eat that or they'll get sick and die. <laughs> They might not die, but look at sick. Weird glitch there. It's been doing that a little bit on cutscenes too. I noticed. Command. Yo. Oh wait, no. No. Just kidding. What? Why is this taking so long? Can I, can I go back? I can't. No, I can't. Oh, I can't. Okay, it's just gonna take forever. The game's like... I wonder why it takes longer to load in the war assets room. <sighs> FEMA fish. Don't let a brute get close. Don't tell me how to live my life, game. <laughs> it's like, okay then. <laughs> Uh, see, now things are getting exciting. Fishies! You're still alive. Oh, and I got the new ones, too, didn't, didn't I? No, I just have the koi fish. It really does look cool when you have multiple fish, like, lots of fish in here. Like, not just two, or just one, but, it, like, multiples. But at the same time, I'm like, I would like to get my fish aesthetically, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But, freaking, when I get jellyfish, I think I'm actually kind of waiting for the jellyfish. I can't freaking wait for the jellyfish to get here. I think the koi fish and jellyfish look good together. This is the incorrect tank for jellyfish, but we'll let it slide. I do wish you could buy uh, plants, though, when you, you just have fish. Frog. Squeak. I can't get over it. It's so freaking cute. Oh, I think there's a little Kodiak over there or something. Oh, I don't need to check anything. I fed the fish. Oh, let's check the armors, though, that we got. The armors. What did we... Did we get anything? We have the mnemonic visor. There it is! That's the one I like. The sentry interface. What did it... Hang on. Let's see. 
It does the shield boost. Oh, well, that's the one that I think looks the coolest. But I would take away some of my my power damage and recharge. Oh man. Oh well, the mnemonic device. The, the mnemonic device. The mnemonic device that would work uh, is also cool. All right. Uh, Sarah's council. We got the Armax something or other. Sharp. Okay, no, we're gonna keep that. Ariaki techno. What is that? All right, melee damage. I do like how buff it makes her. Takes away all my health boost though. Did I, what did I get? Was it just the set? Was it the Ariaki Sentry or something, or was it the was it the arms as well? I don't know. I don't know. Armex. Oh, was it those? What does it add? Oh, ammo capacity. <gasps> and those legs are freaking rad looking. Takes away some of my weapon damage, but puts it. Those legs are awesome! Have I? Oh, yeah, this is the one with the butt. Come on. Okay. Have I had? I don't know. It doesn't take away my health boost, though, which is nice. I think they look pretty dang freaking cool. So, uh, I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> also, having the ammo capacity is always nice on my sniper rifle. I have uh, floating glasses, wine glasses. Fantastic. All right, let's go speak to everybody. Crew deck. How does one shatter the canopy? Basically, all my sniper shots were aimed at the canopy. Do I have to, like, run up and melee it open? It's designed to be impenetrable. Because you're supposed to be able to rip them out. Like, right, rip the canopy open and rip the pilot out and take it over for yourself. I always get worried about names being added to the list. Liara, you need to go talk to Rex. And how's talking to your dad? So, Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous <laughs> for your discretion. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Let's see. Farron gave us a present, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. This was from before. Power damage or power recharge? I think I'm going to go with damage. I mean, I have a bunch of cooldown things already. No. Cooldown's always nice to get. Perfect. Look at all that animal capacity. I never really, I mean, I did before, but I would never really focus on it this much, except for the fact that I have a sniper rifle now. Yara! Perhaps we can Yara. talk Yara! If what Java says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. Well, anybody would, you know. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Do people romanticize the Protheans because they were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? And this is sad. It's like, oh, you know, like, come on, Liara. Like, get back that old spirit, you know? <laughs> Email from Professor Tiska to Dr. Odul. I was calling every supply depot station around this crucible to find enough pure platinum for the crucible's primary trigger inlay. We barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew in to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. Ugh. Ah, I love it. I love it. Liara is using her powers for good. 
She does occasionally make questionable questionable calls, but you know, it's it is what it is. I like to see what kind of dishes people have been using. Eris, what do you think about all this? I keep wanting to go like chat with Samara and Legion. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for yep. guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this That's deal. a good idea. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we Indeed, can measure my up. Friend. I guess we're at war. We have with been Cerberus since the start now, huh? of this game. I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're I know, the right? on Tichonka. Good to see Morden still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Of course. Maybe later. He's just like you, Garris. Morden is really old, though. Like for a Solarian, he's like fifty, and that's like unheard of. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably <laughs> intelligent, a bit aggressive. <laughs> Krogan. For the third time, Doctor. <laughs> ah, Shepard. We were just. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solaris. Or it's different. This one yeah. is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort mm -hmm. of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised not by anyone. Not even you, Rex. <laughs> you gotta call her, doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be <laughs> Common phobia. Fear of <laughs> Or <laughs> A word when you have a moment, <laughs> Okay, Morden, you look really terrifying. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. <laughs> Never mind. What are you talking about? <laughs> Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to... <laughs> and you have to do it loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think, simulate conversation to promote new ideas, maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered the effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Eve! Thank you for saving my life, Commander. You don't have to get up! <laughs> I didn't think the Krogan had any oh, allies left in the galaxy. Oh, me and Rex go way back. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. <coughs> I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over... I really know. wish I could... As the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. They, I was incredibly, I was amazed, I was blown away by Eve, by the female Krogan. They really are, they're the brains and the heart of Tuchanka. This was one aspect of the game that I felt was done incredibly well. How were you initiated? 
You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands. Yeah. Or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. And I wish to heaven we could see it. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Harry, keep this forever! That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. I wish they'd show it to you. They kind of show, like, they don't usually show the hands when you're being handed something because they never really have it there. But. I was more than than <laughs> Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. <laughs> he does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... <laughs> 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 What? What? Uh, having Morden back is is great. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. Sorry. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. They could have something else to focus on, like this... Eve, talking with Eve gives me chills. Like, and just thinking about what she must have gone through when she saw her first stillborn. And, like, the like you don't really think about it for the women's side of things. Like, you only have ever seen the male side of the genophage. But hearing a direct perspective from a previously infertile Krogan female and what her and the, the millions of other Krogan females who were infertile have gone through, like, it's, it's horrific. Uh, how'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malon again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was a lad that she knew she would enter the void. Okay, unfortunately, I noticed started glitching out, I think, when we started asking her about the genophage? Or, no, it was Malon's experiments. So, hopefully we got the rest of it in. Um, I'll, I'll have to try to figure something else out if it doesn't work out. Also, um, the conversation ends a certain way, I think, after the first time talking to her. And I'll throw that in on the end. And, and, and I'll tell you how I feel about it, because I like it, but... How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. Yep. 
Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries. It's I like that. Females took back our place in society. The women used to be. And resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. They used to be the powerhouses. And I think we asked was it worth it. And then we asked what the other females. And I think that's when things started glitching out. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse. And then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. And I'm almost kind of glad I started glitching out because I actually got choked up there and was not able to speak for a second. And that's when I glanced over and noticed it was glitching out. But that that just the way she speaks, I don't know. It's 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 she's great. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. I mean, they did. Like, I mean, they, they were sent there to try to retrieve any, any last, you know, any last whatever, you know, parts of Malin's research, but they saved their lives. They saved the female, the female Krogan's lives. Well, saved Eve's life anyway. What do you think of Rex? I love this. When he's not trying to sire half <laughs> to Chunka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You think they it's want true. You think they want the. It's this not in the nature fixed. of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be. They selfish. perhaps used to Their be cooperative, survival. but now they Rex are only different. selfish. He's a mutant, and <laughs> that you can tell. Him. I love it. I love it. They're like, hey, Rex. Uh, she, she called you a mutant. What do you think about that, huh? Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Be cool to, to cosplay as her someday. I love her. Her outfit kind of looks like the colors sort of look alliance, like a military, like formal military wary ish. So hopefully, we got the rest of it. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad you see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. <laughs> Deal. Yeah, and hopefully I will have thrown in, either at this point or right after this, the part where... When you first talk with Eve, she says that, you know, like, it's good to see that human women, or human, humans treat the women with respect. You've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. And Shepard's like, well, not as much as you, you know, but... And basically, at the end of it, they're like, we'll just show, we'll show the men how it's done. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, when I first played this, I was like, that's amazing that they, I mean, they know they acknowledge your gender in the game. So, like, if I had played as a man, I would not have the same relationship I have with Eve that I have with her right now as a female shepherd. Because we're both women, like, being, like, braving the odds, you know, like, showing the men how it's done or whatever, you know? It's just, I like it. It's cool. I love Eve a lot. She's great. Shepherd. Blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Currently stable, but lack of Malin's research data. I'm sorry! There's nothing we can do about that now. No. I hate to ask this, but will it affect the cure? No, cure will remain viable, but Eve's long-term prognosis, doubtful. Do what you can for her. Of course. How you been? How you been? Wishing we'd save the data? Pointless to consider. Correct decision at the time. Even if it would have helped now? Recrimination's useless. Data lost. Have to deal with consequences. Would like more data, yes. Would make it easier to save Eve, but destroyed it. Tainted source, too dangerous, I thought. Yeah. I mean, we did both agree on that, and we thought he'd be able to 
and tainted source is a good point, but at the same time, it could have been used to save her. It was the it was the data gotten from Eve and her sisters that could have saved her. You know. Any word on Malon himself? Maybe he could help reconstruct. Exactly. Data. No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible, unless he could help. <laughs> So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments. She's not, he's methods. not though. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve, can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origin. But okay, I think that's kind of glitched because we, we don't have the data. <laughs> she doing no fever currently heart rate elevated likely stress eating appropriately could use another blanket something soft prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure my medical recommendation my people don't have time for that her opinion somewhat <laughs> you care about her my patient my responsibility found her at stg base three doctors injured trying to restrain her undid arm restraints didn't resist when she grabbed me promised to help her she said Please. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Oh! Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. Okay. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Right, right. That makes sense. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances <laughs> being? Reaper invasion. Turian's doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Ah. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Ah. Interesting. Talking with Paddock Wicks, I really like talking with Paddock Wicks. He had different... Like, his thing was that he thought this genophage was wrong all along. And that, like he said, that, um... What's it? Evolution should decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. And so I'm kind of bummed out that Paddock can't be with us either, but... Because I liked him a lot. But having Morden on board is just... Makes me feel, it makes me feel good again. Like, I feel like my ship is, like, Rex is here. Morden is here. I'm like, there's people on my ship again. It doesn't feel so empty, you know? Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be yeah. back. Yeah! You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. <laughs> genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on the <laughs> beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside and out. <laughs> Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he would. <laughs> I cannot see more than just relaxing. But it would be good. It would be good. At least, you know, he could run tests on the. I mean, really, he could. He could just do some. Just do things that'll keep him occupied. That would be nice. That would be nice. I don't think, I mean, who, nobody's in here yet, right? Like, I don't really think people start migrating until we get everybody on the ship. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy, but it's behind me now, and I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? 
Billions? Billions? Well, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. I'm sorry. Hello, Commander. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. <laughs> he kicked you out? <laughs> oh, no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. I do remember thinking that somehow she got booted out the airlock because I couldn't find her. Like, I didn't think about it at first, and then I realized I couldn't find her, and I was like, searched the whole ship, and I just happened to come in here. At one, or no, I think somebody actually told me to go look in here. But I think I also might have just stumbled upon it at one point and been like, oh, there you are. But now I'll know, and I can come check for uh, conversations and stuff. I do, I realize that, because somebody had pointed out once that it's actually very dark in this ship, and, and it is. It's, even in cutscenes, like with Eve, like my face, there's one cutscene with Javik where I feel like the face shadow that you get is done very intentionally. Um, but... Other than that, even in cutscenes, your face is quite dark. Oh, man. Maybe someday. You think someday we'll ever get out into space like this, ever? You know what I mean? Like, a hundred years in the future, maybe? I don't know, more? Maybe after we blow ourselves up, like in the Star Trek universe, you'd have, like, the 21st century nuclear war. And then everybody gets their act together after that, and... We go out to space. That'd be nice. Not the nuclear war thing. I'd like we could just be happy without that, but you know. Alright, let's go see if Javik has anything to say. Yo? I'm not chatting with anybody? Why are you so interested in my people, Asai? Uh. Prothians are always an enigma. A mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here... <laughs> I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian... All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? They're not we primitive anymore. On our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Yeah, why do we if he can absorb emotions, we should have put him in like Thane's room <laughs> so he could absorb like peace. <laughs> or Samara's room. Why did it sounded like that's what Jack says though. I think I'm gonna destroy oh, that's what Jack says. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. He's always like the Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat. Oh! His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand. <laughs> he's, a, he's a unique little flower. This Cerberus. I do not understand why your own, your kind, own kind opposed you. you. They will bleed the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. The Rex Krogan offered me a job. He said whenever I tired of the <laughs> luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. Interesting. I know. I was like, Rex, stop trying to steal my people from me. I have, like, no companions as it is. Yes. Okay. Yes. He's always washing his hands at whatever water this is, too. It's, it's an interesting gesture that he does. I don't know why. I don't know why that's his, his default gesture. Dobby. What do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Trina? She's not a yeoman. She's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, hey. Kenneth. You're not hey. a Hey! Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. Oh, man. Kenneth! Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. <laughs> Commander? 
Oh yeah, Adams is with uh that's good. She needs a she needs a friend. I don't think there's anything else. It was very I did not know that Yavit came down here before, but it was after Jack's mission. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'm trying to think if there's any others that maybe he go to Samara's room after Samara's? I don't know. I guess I should go talk to that dang nab reporter that's living in friggin' Zaid's room. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us in chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? I'm gonna support... The colony? Yeah. I think I supported her last time, but I'm gonna support him this time. You think you can fly on this ship? Lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I think last time, because I was like, oh, freedom of the press, blah, blah, blah. But if anything, this last year has shown me that the press is basically useless. So, I don't, I don't know. It used to be freedom of the press is what you wanted, and now the press just does stupid things with their alleged freedom. And not that I think it should be restricted at all by any means, but I just don't trust it, so. And her putting up an opinion piece when she knows full well that some people will take it as fact, like, she doesn't need to be putting up opinions like that. Why, why would she put up an opinion piece? But it's not like what she says should actually have any impact on things on that decision. It's not her decision to make, you know? How about we sacrifice her home world to save five other worlds, you know? If it's an opinion piece, then she shouldn't be reporting on it anyway. She needs to report the facts. That's what she's always said. I only report the facts. And so yeah, so she's just basically conflicting with herself right there. Sir Cash certainly offered me a new <laughs> What do you mean? Normally I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800 pound Krogan requests <laughs> to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably why. <laughs> yeah. Just one more diagnostic suite. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, is that it? Ma'am. Ma'am. Yeah, after that, flying around on Sir Cash. Oh, buddy. We haven't talked in a while. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. Causing trouble? I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. I'll take you with me. Rex is a badass. <laughs> I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. I know, right? <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Exactly! He is! He's... Morden's crazy. Hey. 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 I like that. I like I'll bring James next time. Maybe James and Liara. That'd be interesting. Uh weapons upgrade. Let's get the the Avenger. That's what Garrus has been using. Hmm. Let's uh let's get a couple for the Scorpion. I use the Mantis, right? Or the, no, I use the Viper. Yeah, I don't have that curvy thing. Oh, shoot, Particle Rifle's expensive. I think I can go all the way up to, to 10. And I'll get another one for the Viper. And the Shuriken. And the Predator, why not? Not sure though, shoot, what what one does he have? What he has one of does he have the eviscerator? Okay. I hope he does. I'll have to give that to him otherwise, you know. Uh no 
no point really in messing with those at this point. When is my jellyfish gonna come in? Oh. Gotta keep an eye on that, apparently. Hmm. Ooh. I mean, I could probably pick that up somewhere, but... Sure. Get the SMG scope. I don't have the assault rifle ultralight materials yet. Alright. I believe that's everybody. So I guess we'll uh, we'll leave off there. These probably these couple will be fairly long, I guess. Um that's alright though. Lots of exciting stuff going on. And now we have missions for landing on planets, and that's exciting, and I'm looking forward to that. Not just fetch quests anymore. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying. I know I do know what happens if you don't get the, the cure. Uh, and it is something I I will change in subsequent playthroughs. But for my shepherd, for this shepherd, for my first female shepherd, this was it was an actually extremely influential situation. The whole thing, how it played out. So. And I saw a bit more of Shepard than I thought I would when it after it all plays out and everything. So not 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 every canon playthrough can have a happy can have all the happy outcomes. You know, it's it would be it would be kinda weird otherwise, but in subsequent playthroughs I will I'll do right by the Krogan, but as for this time I'm doing right with what I can. And I'm yawning so much. I apologize. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying. And I will see you in the next one.